Hello everybody, it's the King back here with another video. Today, guys, we are back with another episode of Warframe. Now, before we get into today's episode, there's two things we gotta do real quick. First of all, it's show off the new Wukong skin, bro. Look at this man. My god, this man looks so cool. I wanted to go for more of like an assassin, sus like demon Wukong, and bro, let me tell you something. I didn't originally like these spikes. Um, Hungarian Knight had to give gifted these to me back when I, I think it was Hungarian Knight, it might have been McKay, but one of those two gifted these to me back when I very, very first started playing Warframe, and these were basically like the only cosmetics I had for a time, and I had them on like Excalibur, but I didn't really like the way they looked on Excalibur, bruh, this shit looks so badass on Wukong, bruh, it doesn't even look out of place. It literally looks like like this is just how the skin was meant to be, bro. Look at look at how cool this is. Oh my god, bro. Demon Wukong looks so fire. All right, all right, all right. And, and a fanboying over my boy Demon Wukong. That's right. Strike that pose, boy. <laughs> Y'all see, even he's hyped. But like, look. All right, all right. And, and, enough of the enough of the uh, shenanigans. All right, enough of the <laughs> enough of the monkey shenanigans. Um. I did some research off camera and I asked around on the Discord server and shit like that to kind of understand what was going on and why I couldn't unlock uh, this junction right here. I, I, I've been told why. Okay, so here's the thing. Apparently, this junction is actually tied to um, the second dream quest. It's either like the second dream or like first dream or, or something. Uh, yeah, right here. The second dream. This thing right here. Um, In order... To trigger the second dream, okay, I need to scan shit on Uranus, which is what I'm assuming this is, uh, not a, uh, play, not a, <laughs> not a my business, oh my god, I need help, oh my god, uh, that was cringe as shit, oh my god, I'm sorry, bro. Oh my god, uh, play, play missions on Uranus until you encounter strange drones, okay, um, what I've been told is the second dream needs to be basically be triggered uh, if, in order for me to activate that junction, right? So, and the only way for me to activate that junction is to scan uh, like, like some, some blue orbs or some blue something on Uranus. I'm assuming he, what McKay meant by that is the uh, Cephalon fragments, right? Which is fine. So, so basically, now that I kind of know what we need to do to be able to get this fragment, we can technically rush it because, as you guys can see, Saturn right here, we only have uh, like like two missions left before we can actually do this junction because we already have all the quests unlocked. So we can do this shit anytime we want and get the uh, Chroma Neuroptic blueprints very very easily, right? Here's the thing. H here's here's what I'm kind of thinking. I, as much as I want Chroma and I want to kind of mess around with Dragon Boy and shit like that, right? I, I don't want to rush through the story too quickly, you know what I mean? I mean, I do, I do, um, but I don't. As you guys can see, I've kind of been clearing out the planets, by the way. Like, I, I've kind of been, like, making sure I, I clear out all the missions on the planets, trying to have as many of these shit, uh, um, fully cleared as possible, right? So, here's, here's what I think I'm gonna do, okay? I think I'm gonna finish... The, the, the current quest that we're on right now, right? And then I'm also gonna finish the, um, where is it? The Wave Rider, okay? So we're gonna finish Deadlock Protocol and Wave Rider. These two right here. And then I think we're gonna go ahead, um, uh, beat the Saturn Junction, right? Go into uh, Uranus. And then I'm gonna, like, check with the boys on Discord and just make sure that I don't, that I shouldn't do Limpo Theorem before I actually go and, and trigger the, the second dream shit, right? Because he, here, here's the shit, right? It, it, here's what I'm thinking Deadlock Protocol, Wave Rider. But then it kind of looks like the, uh, doing Limpo Theorem will unlock the Call of the Tamsari, right? Uh, sorry, not, not even Limbo Tier, I'm doing uh, the Deadlock Protocol, right? This shit will unlock the Call of the Dasari. I just, I don't know which order I need to do these quests in, right? Because, like, I, I, I already know that, like, the Second Dream, and then there's also the War Within, and then the New War. I, I don't know where the New War is. Um, wh wh where is it? Uh, bro, I, I swear to God, there's a, there's a quest called the New War, I'm pretty sure. Because I've seen people talking about it and shit. Or am I crazy? Am I, am I, am I crazy? I could have sworn there was one called the New War. I mean, the War Within is right here, and second, oh, maybe it's, okay, maybe the New War is something else? Huh, anyway, regardless, regardless of my noob knowledge, right? Um, 
I just don't know what order I need to do these quests in. So I think I'm gonna just gonna do the deadlock protocol. We're gonna do the wave rider because I, I this one's needed for later. And then um, we'll go ahead and unlock Uranus. And then I'll I'll just double check with the boys before actually going ahead and clearing Uranus, just to make sure and triggering like the second dream that I don't have to do the other quests before doing the second dream because I don't want to spoil anything for myself. Because like if I can rush through and get the second dream, but the, like it would have actually like given me more of a cinematic experience if I had done the other quests first. I don't want to miss out on that. Uh, basically is what I'm saying. Anyway, so let's go ahead and um, continue with the deadlock protocol. We were basically visiting somebody in um, Fortuna because they have some like information for us that they don't want to like just share over the net or whatever. So we got to go meet them in person. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, bro, I really hate the way my ship looks. I'm not going to hold you, bro. As soon as I start selling some platinum, uh, bro, I got I to gotta give me a better looking ship. I, I got to get out of this noob craft, bro. <laughs> I really, really got to get, get out of this noob craft, bro. It looks so bad. Um, anyway, let's just hop over here. Uh, enter back room, bro. Okay, wow. The, you, you couldn't have gotten more sketch if you tried. Who am I talking to, by the way? Uh, little duck. Little duck. All right, I found AZA's twin. Um, <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Why are they named Little Dot? Wait, am I... Do I just hit the briefing? So, okay, cool. I guess I just hit the briefing. Plan. I thought I was supposed to look for somebody Sometimes specific, not just sit at a table. A Whatever. Thinks he can prove he's a sprog of noble descent. No idea no how. how. Paphros was assassinated before us were an itch. Uh, look familiar, Outer Warder? Warframe, yes, but one of a kind. Protea. Protea. Legend says she was built specifically for and assigned to one of Parvo's Granum. Yes, a part of the Granum. Wait, what? A part of the deal Granum cut with the Orokin himself. Granum was no amateur. He had real power. Our ear inside says Neff's texts have found a lead on Protea's whereabouts. Protean, Protean traces, they call them. The Granum, the original taxman, killed, killed when someone, someone, a board member board most likely, like sabotaged, the sabotaged the void drive of his personal transport. His personal transport. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I'm already liking this um, this mission. I said it before in the last start. episode, but like it really feels almost like, like I'm, I'm part of like, uh, like a TV series right now, and I'm dealing with like the episodic episodes, right? Like this literally feels like that shit. I'm, I'm super hyped for this. I'm not gonna lie. This, this is definitely a more intriguing story than any of the other ones I've done so far. Our people are vanishing because of this. It's true. I know it. I don't care if Parvo's Granum is dead, alive, or making Jade tap dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, you find a <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just imagining the man tap dancing and I can't stop. Get on it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, bro, there's that has tears in my eyes from laughing so much. That shit is. Oh, imagine we're out here, bro, chasing this boss, right? Like, we've been grinding mad hours, uh, like, grinding up our Warframe levels, getting better weapons, doing all this bullshit. And just the main enemy is just sitting there, tap the... Can I even emote on here? Wait, yeah, I can. It's just sitting here, tap... Oh, wait, no, 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 not with my Wukong. No, 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 we're not, we're not sexy dancing with my Wukong. That is, um... That is... <laughs> no, we're not doing that shit. God damn. I think I just burned my eyes off. I did this shit. I, I can't remember who I did it to. I think it was like Orochi or some shit. <laughs> but I, I've been scarring them by dancing with my Wukong. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, bro. Uh, to, to be fair, though. To be fair, though, right? This shit fits Wukong, right? Yeah, this martial arts type sweeping shit. Oh, yeah, that shit fits, fits Wukong. Especially with the assassin skin. By the way, I have been having so much fun playing with Wukong, my bro. Look, look at this. Look at this, bro. I can literally just instant travel drop every single map. It feels so nice to be able to just go ahead and do this shit in seconds compared to, like, having to go it's, minutes. Uh, it's so nice. Right. It's, uh, right. It's a it's big a hand. Great. Big Maybe. hand. Yep, yep. It's a big hand. It's, it's the Infinity Gauntlet, actually. Yep. Uh, we, we, it's, uh, we're actually crossing over into the Marvel Universe right now. Uh, see if you can... Uh, what the hell is happening? And let me grab that before we die. To another engineering blunder? We need confirmation. Reset and a tear into position. What is happening? What was that? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. I'm literally asking you. I think it was a void temporal shift. I'm not entirely sure. I've never seen one before. 
Small though. Uh, small about though. As as about as big person. as a person. Patch me into the system. Hey, yo, what? Could do with some noise while I'm eyeballing the bits. Bro, there. Oh wait, this is what they mean by deal with the noise. They want me to kill people. Not on you. You are found. Remember the first days of our tuna. All right, let me let me, let me trigger up my clone real quick, bro. Yeah, 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 that's right. By the way, I am loving this thing. I'm building the snow mode because, like, I've already mentioned it. I'm pretty sure. But like, I, I now know how I want to build my main gun. Also, um, I found. Oh, by the way, I should probably be paying attention to dialogue. This man's voice just puts me to sleep. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> or nothing. I swear, bro. I, I, I was having so much fun with, with the story missions. I swear. And then this man's voice came in, and then I just stopped paying attention. You and your bleeding uh, heart, ten of dogs. I don't really have time for this. My robotics, on the other hand, do. Are you sure about that? Because they don't seem to be faring too well. Uh, man, it's more like they're gonna be history. Oh, damn, that was a cold line, bro. That was some... No, 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 okay. Drop a like for that badass line right there. That's right. Completely organic. <laughs> God damn it, I had to ruin it. God damn it. I said something badass and I couldn't even keep it up for five seconds. Damn. <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> completely organic god damn it <laughs> that shit's no bro how can i say something so badass and then something so lame in the exact next sentence oh bro <laughs> that was so bad oh all right all right well, we're at 98 percent. we're very very close let me just keep slashing up these guys real quick um we should be good yeah there we go uh, ready now? Protein uh, it's time. Send in the next volunteer. Are they trying to teleport people to where she is? I'm assuming Protea is a female Warframe. I mean, I, just by the name is what I'm assuming. Um, regardless, let's just keep... I'm very confused with the whole Warframe shit, by the way. Because, like... I'm not, here's the thing, okay? I'm very confused with the tax, uh, with the factions, and I'm not sure if, like, I'm supposed to know this at this point, or what the hell? Uh, I think that's the Infinity Gauntlet zapping somebody out of existence. Hold position. I'm getting something. I don't think I want to hold position. What if that thing does that to me? Oh, bro, I have to. Another scan thing. Okay. Killing all people for some kind of weapons test. Weapons? I don't think it's even a weapons test. Maybe not. Yes. He. I, I, I really don't think this shit is a weapons test. I just... What kind of signal? Oh, uh, the... In, it's an, <laughs> the infinite time. Uh, but, 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 look, you don't gotta worry about that, all right? I got gun clone, all right? My clone just shoots shit. Which is, you know... The, the, that's basically what any clone should do. You know what I mean? Like, who goes through the trouble of cloning shit if they can't even kill people, bro? Come on, now. All clones should be murder-capable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, I swear to God, the shit that comes out of my mouth when I play Warframe, I just, I swear, I don't even know where it comes from, bro. Like, sure, I'm deranged in real life, too, but just, not, not to this extent, okay? <laughs> this is, Warframe just brings out something in me, bro. I've mentioned it before, but, like, I, I've, I've been paying attention to a bunch of, like, YouTube, I keep getting, like, Warframe videos in my, like, uh, YouTube feed now, right? On my, like, personal YouTube account, and, like, I swear, it's, like, Warframe just brings out the murder in anyone who tries it, and it's so hilarious, bro. Anyone who tries this game immediately gets, like, crazy murderous, and I'm, like, super here for it, by the way. Super, super here for it. Um, anyway. Uh, I, I, I had, I swear I had something I wanted to say, but I completely forgot. Oh, no, no, I remember what I was gonna say now. I, I've met, I'm greatly appreciative, sorry, I was just trying to think of how to say it. I'm greatly appreciative of this story quest because even like the objectives of every mission it feels like it's more narrative based than like oh uh hey yo what's going on wait is that demios i have no idea it kind of looks like demos the jockeys feed oh my god yo they teleported this man into like are we gonna have to fight Thanos? Well, we make sense of this. Yeah, I look, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. I can do a lot of shit. I don't think I can fight. I don't think I can fight, bro. Um, Thanos. I'm, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. I think like that's a little above my pay grade. Uh, like, like maybe try calling Iron Man. You know what I mean? I'm sure if you offer him some Tenno technology, he'll like, he'll, he'll definitely be down to help. You know what I mean? 
Uh, I mean, he, he's kind of looking for some new work anyway, you know, he's he's considering being Dr. Doom, but if you just offer him, like, a Warframe suit, I'm absolutely sure he'd come back and just kick Thanos' ass a second time. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, nah. A Tenno version of Iron Man would be sick. We'll be for you, oh my god. Alright, now I've gotta try to make an uh like a Tenno version of Iron Man, bro. I wonder if there's even any Warframes that would like even fit. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, mm, a little bit, but not really. Uh, the most important thing is the Unibeam. The most important thing is kind of the Unibeam. And what the hell? Why is this thing on sale? Hold on, 18%? Uh, oh, it's on sale with Y, though. <laughs> why, why, why is it on sale all of a sudden? Anyway, um, huh. Like, the most important thing would be, like, the Unibeam. Obviously, we're not doing it now, and obviously, I have no intention of I would probably do it with a Prime Warframe anyway, but I'm just saying, like, they're not really seeing... Maybe, maybe attachments? Maybe attachments? Like, I, I mentioned before, but my goal is eventually to collect every single Warframe and every single, like, like cosmetic, and then to just start making, like, cool replicas of, like, pop culture shit, right? But, like, uh, that's not, like, my only goal. Obviously, my, like, primary goal was murder, but uh, <laughs> that sounds so crazy. <laughs> that sounds so crazy to say. Yeah, you know, my, uh, my primary goal is just murdering shit you know <laughs> but um and anyway anyway uh is this not on this account it's not really glowy enough uh we need like a cool huh i, I wonder if like there's an attachment you know what this could oh this could kind of work as a unibeam this shit could kind of work as a unibeam it's not perfect but like if, if you change up the colors and shit you could definitely get this shit looking like a unibeam um oh ah damn it Oh, bro, if you could if you could shift this a little bit down, it would be great. Literally, if you would just somehow shift this downwards, it would look fine. Unfortunately, you can't rotate. Yeah, bro, unfortunately, unlike sigils and shit, you can't actually rotate the um the the attachments, which kind of suck. Uh, I, I know we're also going super out, off track right now, but I'm way too interested not to do this. So I'm just going to check in there really, really quickly. If there are any other, like, Unabeam sort of like, or, um, not Unabeam, what's it called? Um, have I been calling it Unabeam this entire time? Bro, any other arc reactor type shit, and I don't really see any. Okay, so... When we do eventually build Iron Man, we're going to have to use this shit as a Unabeam, which honestly not even that bad i'm not gonna lie we, we change up the colors a little bit and then like oh yeah bro we could absolutely make an iron man looking character in this game bro oh yeah that'd be so that'd be so cool um how long is this episode oh you know what it's already 18 minutes long ha huh. all right um you know what hold on let's return to fortuna real quick let's uh finish off whatever dialogue and then um we'll, we'll start the next mission in the next episode that that way we can always have some um what's up What's up? That's not what I meant to say. Sorry, I, I, I had brain fog and I was trying to like form my thoughts. Um, that way we can still have like a uh, concise episode without a bit it getting too long. To the Corpus Board and my many many supporters across the Origin system, everyone is asking, when will I, Nef Anyo, end this unprofitable squabbling deadlock? Bruh, he sounds like a politician. Nef Anyo is perfect for the big seat. Oh my, yo, yo, I'm not gonna say who he reminds me of, but he kind of reminds me of a politician, a certain politician. The way he speaks, his mannerisms, I'm not gonna lie. Everyone's saying I'm perfect for the, bro, it's the way he speaks. I'm not gonna lie, it gave me like flashbacks of a certain in real life person. How many kids are gonna grow up in the vents because of this? How many parents lost because I couldn't do my job? Yeah, you are kind of useless, I'm not gonna lie. Like... <laughs> yeah, I'm just playing. I, 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 don't, I barely remember this thing, bro. I just remember in the, the first time we were on Fortuna, she kind of sucked too. And the, there's a vent kid a very long time ago who would have hero worshipped the woman she became. You're an ooh, hey, yo, don't hit me with that emotional Nef shit. Now when I'm right about to end an episode, bro. If Neff ends to visit that pocket for his proof, he won't risk it himself. Sparky, you can beat him to it. Biz has figured out how to activate Neff's Granum tributes. You won't believe this. These tributes are essentially coins. Oh my god. You'll need a Granum crown. You'll have to search the ship. Neff as the Corpus figurehead with an unlimited board behind him will be hell for us and workers everywhere. See if you can get across first. 
Pax whatever proof he's hoping to collect. Muck up his plan. Find our people. I love the way these people speak, by the way. Like, like for example, when he was like, oh, deal with all the noise, I thought, like, he was gonna, like, start some music or something while he was hacking. Instead, he meant to deal with, like, the shooting and, the, the, and like, kill everyone. Like, I really, really love how the people on Fortuna speak, bro. That shit is so cool. Um, I'm a big fan of the way they speak. But, um, anyway... Uh, I'm really glad, by the way, we can finally get random crowns. I actually remember asking, like, months and months ago, back when I first started Warframe, oh, what the hell the giant, like, glove things were for. And, like, uh, McKay and, Ar and Orochi were like, oh, yeah, you're gonna need, like, uh, 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 an item for that that you don't have yet. Um, and I, I've been, I've literally, since that day, been wondering when the hell I get this stupid ass item. And now I guess I know. I don't know what it does though, right? So like, I don't know what the point of activating is, but I guess we'll be figuring that out in the next time's episode. If you guys do want to kind of figure it out alongside me, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I post that episode. That's right. That was the perfect sort of, um, not tangent, the perfect, like, uh, cutaway? Perfect transition. There we go. Damn, it would have been so much smoother if my voice, if my brain could have just remembered the word. Anyway, I do hope you guys did enjoy that episode. If you did, hit the like button, and I will see you all tomorrow. And I do hope you all also had a wonderful day. If not, I do hope it turns into a great and wonderful day.